we have an alert. Precious metal fiends out there, all my metal heads. We have an alert, breaking news. I guess it's not really breaking news anymore. It's been going on all day. I wasn't able to make a video earlier today, got tied up doing a bunch of stuff. I apologize, but hey, we're here now. Let's talk about it. Metals down, big time down. Silver was down a little over 10% at one point today. It dipped all the way down to $24.36. Gold, not as big of a pullback, but was still down a little over $50 today. Silver is where it was. So, it is still down. All of us who are used to seeing these $28, $27, high 28s with all these premiums paying $32, $33, $34 on our silver coins, depending on what kind of silver you're buying, even higher than that, got to back up the truck. If you got the means to do it, today's the day. I cannot even, me along with numerous other stations out there that are tuned in and keying in on this, cannot stress it enough. If you have any financial means to go out and get anything today, please do. They're blaming it on the dollar index is up little less than three quarters of a basis point that pushed silver over 10 percent down today a little over right now we're hovering around 24 dollars and 80 cents it's creeping back up a tiny bit uh i'm not gonna call anything right now but i'm predicting i didn't i honestly i really never thought wasn't quite sure if we'd see 24s again but we almost got down into the high 23s so it just goes to show you what these markets can do. The Dow Jones was down over 800 points at one time today. They ended up closing down in the red still for 509. Still a big loss for the day. And those of you who have listened to me in my past videos know without the Federal Reserve's help and the steroids that it's pumping in, this thing should have been down thousands. News is blaming that on the fears of the virus and the corona, the corona beer skis. So, and they're also fearing that maybe Congress can't get their act together for a new stimulus to help the people out. It's just one thing after another, but. Yeah, if you got any means though, like I was saying, go out and grab your silver today. We may continue to see a pullback this week, but good lord who knows we may see you know skyrockets tomorrow one way or another it's not staying here you're gonna buying today luckily hopefully it stays down if you can't get it today maybe tomorrow or you know you just you have we have no way of predicting it it may go back up to 28 29 tomorrow it may go above 30 who knows right uh today if you're able to get in it is nothing but profits because this is not going to last if you're a short-term holder you want to pick up anything today you can sell it at a profit probably later this week people like me a lot of my viewers subscribers most of us are holding for the long term today is like man i'm just i did about i about did a backflip when i saw the markets this morning so i watched a couple of my regular videos and throwing me into a loop and trying to scramble all of the funds that i had available to me and uh, I went a little bit beyond my means, but that's okay, because I'm not spending money on this. I'm merely converting it. If I have to have the Monopoly money fee up, cash, if you will, to pay something, I can always liquidate. So, I hope to not ever do that, giving myself a little stress test. And as you can see, I'm sitting here in the Elantra office. Seems like that's one place. I can actually get a few minutes before I got a jet to work talk to you guys and share some information with you this is exciting i'm super happy to report this to you those of you who don't have the time to watch markets and maybe just getting home and want to tune into my station i can't tell you enough how appreciative i am for you taking a few minutes out of your day to give to me and to share this info with you because it is great news this is such a buy 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 day buy if you can anything fractional half ounce whatever just get some okay you won't regret it like I said, you can liquidate anytime you need. You can, you're can. you not spending the money. You're just converting. So get your hands on something. And we're looking at a couple of uh, the Vancouver 2010 Olympic Canadian coins, Maple Leaf coins. Love these things. I saw them on, uh, I believe it was J.M. Bullion. 
I believe it was. I can't remember. There's a lot of coins that I don't ever pull out. They're just sitting in the vault but because I don't like to handle them if I don't have to. But there's a few that I do set aside that I do handle to show off here and there. But, yeah, the 2010 Canadian Vancouver Olympic coins. And this here, this is an oldie. I picked this up before all the madness started happening when I ordered 10 ounce rounds and this happened to be in there. They threw in a 1989 maple leaf. So I don't know if that's considered a round or what. It's not the first time it's happened, but that's pretty cool, that's old. And of course we got the amazing Britannia, shiny as heck. Actually we can see on that, it's got a little bit of milk spotting going on. Huh. I guess I need to double down on using hand sanitizer before I handle my metals. Either that or put some gloves on. But it doesn't matter one way or another. Everybody's going to be wanting this. So, yeah, guys, like I said, thank you very much for taking just a few minutes out of your day, spending it with me, allowing me to share this with you. Hit that like button if you wouldn't mind. It really does help the station. It allows me to spread the word, the information like this to others who have no idea. We want to include as many people as we can, get out of the system, and to convert that Monopoly money into something real like this. So, all my subscribers, thank you so much. Those of you who have not subscribed, hit that. Hit it. Hit the notification bell, too. We have some fun here. And uh, throw me some comments down below. If you, Whenever. You know, you want to say something, you got some ideas you want to throw out there, go ahead. I'm always open to ideas, and my ears are always open. And uh, I have some amazing comments that come in. So, thank you all for that. And uh, I'm going to get out of your hair. But like I said, once again... Last time I'm saying it, please buy. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll check in with you if there's something else going on that needs to be told. But uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you had a phenomenal weekend. Put some balance in your life. And be grateful if you're able to watch this on your phone, a TV. You have a roof over your head. If you were able to have two meals today, you are blessed. So I'm going to leave it right there, okay? I'm going to go try and do the best I can to have a great night. And you guys do the same. Heavy metal noise. Going to talk to you soon. Peace out.